are in Lillooet, British Columbia. Behind me is the mighty Fraser River. We're going to be going after North America's largest species of freshwater fish, the white sturgeon. You're not going to want to miss this dangle outdoors adventure. After over a year's worth of anticipation, it was finally time for us to hit the mighty Fraser River to begin chasing after the fish that's been taunting us in our dreams, the white sturgeon. After meeting up with our god Matt from River Monster Adventures, we made our way upriver to begin the search for these prehistoric giants. So the way that barb's pinched. She's going on. He's gonna say he's gonna jump here. He's gonna jump right now. Looks like he's under six feet. Feels big. First fish of the morning here, fishing with Matt, River Monster Adventures. He hooked us up on a prehistoric giant here. They get a lot bigger on this river. We're happy to land this one though. Great fish to start the day. Yes it is. Let's get back out there and get a bigger one. Let's do it. Right on partner. Thank you. Up here in BC we uh, tag all our sturgeon. We are tr trying to get data for the conservation society and the biologists. We, uh, none of these fish um, have really been tagged up here. It's fairly new over the last uh, two, three years that we do this. Um, basically, we want to get some data on these fish. Uh, these used to be able to legally catch um, and take home these fish, but that closed in uh, 1992. They're now a protected species and it's catch and release only. And I want to get more data on these on this species and how they're doing and stuff. So we're tagging with microchips and um, every time they're caught, we can uh, we scan them with our scanners and the number will come up and we can track uh, track their length, their girth, how they're doing, are they beat up, are they in good shape, where they've been caught, the distances that they're traveling in the river. Um, and it, yeah, it's great data. So right behind here, you guys can feel it goes, uh, it's hard, soft. We're always gonna tag on the left side of the fish. So hard, soft, you go right in the soft here on a shallow angle. Um, um, and I'm just going to double check my scanner here. We've already measured this fish. Perfect. Nice fish, guys. We can let her go. Thank you very much. There she goes. First fish, good one. Let's get on some more.
After watching Jesse land his first fish, I was more than ready to feel the power of one of these giants. Yep, you don't like the moat, do you, buddy? <laughs> Too bad. Come on up here. Definitely not as big as that last one we had on the line. But this is my first ever sturgeon, and that's awesome. Let's get a bigger one. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, fish. Yeah, we can let it go. Woo! First, I could tell this fish was huge. After an hour of battle, I needed some help. Oh my god, oh my god, it's big. Levi, it's huge! It's a big one! What? Huge! Yeah. Real, 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 real. Oh my god, hey. Anything I can do matters! You're gonna help me on shore when I get in? I mean, oh, oh my god! god. Oh. He's foul hooked. Foul hooked. On what looked to be a nine foot sturgeon. That doesn't make things easy. Is it? Is it foul hook? He's hooked on the middle, it looks like. He's belly up right now. He's big, but I think the fight's been a lot harder than what it needed to be. No, I don't care how hard it is. It's big. Nick, I got it on the surface. I'm just below a uh, cat. It's over nine feet from foul hook. Really? Yeah. After two hours and three and a half miles, he finally bent the hook. He's gone, Levi. He's gone. He's gone. He broke. He's literally. gone. He broke right here. It snapped off. The leader's right there. Yeah, just reel leader. that up. It doesn't get sucked in my jet. That's all right, guys. No, he did it. Oh, we got the hook. Oh, it's probably bent out, eh? That's what happened. As day one wound to an end, we were able to catch a couple more of this intriguing species and gather valuable information for those conserving this fishery. There was nothing left to do but get some rest and anticipate day two on the river. All right, so it's day two out here on the Fraser. It's a 
a lot colder today than it was yesterday. Yesterday we were seeing temps up around 90. Today we're down to around 55. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a good day. Hopefully we'll find that fish we lost yesterday and put him on the bank. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh my god! Woo! Yes! Matt put us on the fish we were looking for. As time began to wind down on the very last few minutes of our trip, we fantasized about the idea of catching into an even larger last minute giant. Then it was as if our fantasies actually conjured into reality.
look at that fish. That's a buzzer beater right there. Experiences with the River Monster Adventures. Came up with the big buzzer beater for the end of the day. These guys are the, these guys are the king of the Fraser. Appreciate you. you guys are awesome. <laughs> yes, he is. All right. Yeah. Hurry up, Eddie. He's getting frisky. There you go. <laughs> There was no holding on to him. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank our guide, Matt, with River Monster Adventures. Uh, he put us on a ton of fish. He put us on big fish. It was an awesome time. I'm going to put a link in there, our description in our video so you can go down and check it out. If you ever plan on coming to Little Wet or anywhere in British Columbia, I'd highly recommend these guys. They really share the same passion we do. Thanks everybody for watching our show. I hope you subscribe. We need more subscribers, so it'd be great if you did. As always, thanks for watching Dango Outdoors.